This is a Fox weather alert. The National Hurricane Center has just come out with an update on Matthew. The storm currently has maximum sustained winds of 105 miles an hour. It is 70 miles southeast of Savannah, Georgia. Good evening. I'm John Scott with special coverage of Hurricane Matthew as it makes its way up the East Coast. The storm is headed now to historic cities like Savannah, Georgia and Charleston, South Carolina. Forecasters say even though the storm weakened today, Matthew could still bring life-threatening conditions from Florida to North Carolina. We have Team Fox coverage. Rob Schmidt is in Savannah, Georgia. Garrett Tenney is in Jacksonville, Florida. First, though, let's go to Chief Meteorologist Rick Reichmuth live in the Fox Extreme Weather Center. Rick? Hey, John. Uh, so the latest just coming in, and you're right, it's weakened just a little bit down to 105, but the pressure has not dropped any, so we still have this incredibly strong storm right off the coast, and we're probably about, I would say, just over half the way done with this uh, from what we saw it come and make that approach last night into Florida, hug the coastline of Florida, and now it's just off the southeast coast of Georgia. But because of the way the land goes here, and you see this indentation right there along the coast, that's where we've been seeing the worst of the storm surge today. And now the storm is moving to the north, but eventually it's going to run into land. And there's a very good chance we're going to see this having some sort of an interaction uh, with land around the Charleston area sometime in the early morning hours. Uh, we're also watching a lot of storm surge move in here. And at this point, we're looking, uh, the, the forecast is for the second biggest storm surge we've ever seen in the Charleston area behind Hurricane Hugo. Uh, which it says a lot. That was a very damaging storm there. We're going to see a lot of damage along that coastline uh, as we move forward. Hurricane warnings have not changed at all. Still down towards Daytona Beach. I think those will expire soon, uh, but now extending up into North Carolina because we expect the storm to hold together as a hurricane as it continues to eventually make this bit of a right turn across the coast here of South Carolina. Take a look at all of this rain, though. We've got incredible rain falling. Rainfall rates very high, uh, and that means we're going to be seeing uh, a lot of flooding from the rain that is yet to come. And we also still have the center of it not very far offshore. These winds still in that 105 range, and as they approach the coast here, somewhere very likely towards the Charleston area, we're going to be watching uh, potentially a lot of wind damage in addition John, to this storm surge that is going to be still, we expect to see in the 8 to 12 foot range. Uh, this is one of our models. You see all of these little inlets there, the rivers, the kind of the, the marshy area that you've got along the coast here. Expect to see quite a bit of flooding uh, from that storm surge, especially as we go into a high tide cycle. Flooding concerns anywhere you see the green, and that's because of the huge amounts of rainfall that are going to fall here, especially along the coast. And expect to see this now extend even in throughout parts of Virginia. But take a look. 15 inches of rain in this one spot here in North Carolina. We had incredible flooding here about two weeks ago in North Carolina. The ground is saturated. The trees are weak. Uh, the rivers and uh, all of the tributaries and such are full. So you get that much more rain there. And I think we're going to be talking about a really significant flooding event. You'll also notice extends a little bit farther off towards the east than we thought. Uh, not seeing that southerly jog that I think we thought uh, we might get yesterday as quickly, and that's not good news for North Carolina. But timing this out tomorrow morning, the rain is very heavy in South Carolina, moving in towards North Carolina. By around 5 o'clock, you're mostly done in uh, South Carolina, and then we go all the way until Sunday midday before this storm is finally offshore, John. So that big hook to the east that the eye of the storm was predicted to take, is, is that still likely to happen? Yeah, it, it is still likely to happen. You see this, we're gonna, what we didn't know yesterday is when that kind of jog might happen towards the east. So at this point, it looks like it's going to go kind of probably all the way out here across the coastal areas of North Carolina. Some of the models do pull it farther off to shore, but our most reliable models continue to pull it off towards the right. It'll weaken considerably in this process, and we're not really worried about what happens once it moves offshore. But the bad scenario is that we had it kind of hug the entire Florida coastline, Maybe good that it was about 20 miles offshore, but just hug the coastline. And now we're going to see this hug the entire coastline of the southeast as well. Yeah. A lot of coastal residents going to yeah. be drenched and uh, flooded. Yep. Rick Reichmuth, thanks.